I bet you never ever miss this life. Or do you? Any closer. Identify yourself. I am fine. He was clumsy. Made far too much noise. Easy to deal with. You have not answered my question. Who are you? Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. Well. I guess making sure you were all right was a bit of an overreaction, judging by the dead body and all. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Triumphant. Meet your Not Too bad there's no more. I can use a workout. Predator burst in. 
was all jaws and fur and spit. Everyone freaked out. Two shots now. Nice. But still, Father and I. avoiding a fight if we can talk our way out of it. But why would you wish to... Okay. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <sighs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time... I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. <sighs> That's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you. But Korra wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers. Had a partner. Lillian Hearts. Well, we were like fire and ice, but, uh... Well, that wasn't all bad. She's one of their top rangers, so they keep her in the field a lot. That's how she likes it. Well, it wasn't by choice. It was a lousy fit. Maybe someday I'll get into it. I'm just happy I found Constellation. Best damn organization in the settled system, do you ask me? It wasn't always like it is now. Hell, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me. A father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew. I'd do anything for that girl. Well, Mrs. Lillian Coe was right there with me. As bad as I had it with nursing at all hours, I know I had it comparatively easy. But that don't mean those first few months were good by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. And there's something you said to me. About parents wanting children to learn from their mistakes. Now that Cora's getting older, that's... That's what haunts me. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. I <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but... Is she going to fall into the same traps? Well, it's bad enough. Let me put it that way. Maybe. When she's older. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother... Like I said, another story another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. No, not really. Lillian and me don't have any siblings. We'd have to start looking into really extended family for other relations. And I wouldn't... I wouldn't want to anyway. Looking after Cora... That's not something I want to pawn off on someone. You think? Oh, she does say the damnedest things. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. Hey, good to see you. I might have what you need. Take it easy.
Perhaps it was not. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Gosh, this again?
Thank you for your deposit to the Coraco Book Fund. Let us talk more once our mission is complete. It's good to be on the bow. You want me to carry something for you? Goodbye. respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless, Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be... unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... Varun Zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics. Having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Yes, it would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. 
I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. for what comes next. Authorities always buy. Yes. Right. Now the way you handle things, not bad. Not bad. But of course, enjoy. Happy to even out the load. So long. You don't see what you... oh please take appreciate the business See, but this here, it's a little patch of heaven. Andresia, thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? They're embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? A couple of scans from the eye, but it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. 
Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Mateo. And Mateo ropes us into another round of philosophy. Can't we agree both are important? You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the Eiffel time. Ah, uh, hello. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... It's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training. Though, I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. I have done so in the past, when necessary, but I am not the best pilot, and it seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you, and that, I think, has worked out very well. <laughs> you might find it absurd, but honestly, the Lodge. I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, the present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like... home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious. I hope that was informative. Until next time. If we can avoid entering that building, I would prefer it. Let us just say I am allergic to bureaucracy. Oh! Need a moment to walk that off?
I'm thankful these rides are quick. I do not like being in small, enclosed spaces with them. I do not know. that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. All right, let me transfer over the data, but I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. No, just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot journey, but that's the explorer's lot sometimes. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all.
is pleasant to see you.
Are they moving? They seem to react to us. 